Apple devices are considered to be one of the most secure devices in the world, isn't it? We all agree to that. Now, there are a lot of security settings inside the iOS, but most of us, we don't know where are those settings. Because firstly, those settings are not selected by default. We need to manually go and select them. And the second thing is, some of the settings are deeply embedded inside the menus and submenus. So it's very difficult to find them. Now, iOS also has one security loophole, which I will explain later in my video. Just imagine your iPhone gets stolen or misplaced or someone has an unauthorized access to your lock screen passcode. Now your data and also your Apple ID is at risk. So in this video, I am going to explain two scenarios which actually are very common and it can happen to any iPhone user in the world. And also I will show and explain different settings, how to protect your data and also your account in both of these scenarios. At the end of the video, I will also show a new security feature which Apple is currently working on but has not yet released to the public. This security feature, in my opinion, is one of the best feature that Apple has ever created on iOS devices. I already have the feature on my phone as I have a developer beta version of iOS installed so I have early access to the things that Apple is going to release for the public later on. So stay tuned till end of the video. Hello, I'm Sean and welcome to my channel. In this scenario, the phone is lost or stolen and the thief gets hold of your phone but he doesn't know your passcode. Means the phone is still locked. Now the thief knows that the first thing that you will do is to try to call your phone and try to locate it using the Find My. So, he immediately turns on the airplane mode on your phone by simply swiping down and pressing this airplane button. Now once the phone is in airplane mode, it cannot be located using the Find My. In order to prevent the thief from doing this, you need to change a simple setting in your phone. This is how you do it. You unlock your phone, settings, Go to Face ID and Passcode. Enter your passcode. Scroll down. And uncheck this Control Center. Uncheck. So by doing this, he cannot access the Control Center from the lock screen if the phone is locked. Let me show you. Phone is locked, swipe down, cannot swipe down. Okay, so he cannot put the phone in airplane mode and the phone can still be detectable using the Find My. The second thing the thief can do is to connect your phone to the iTunes using a cable. This way, the thief can reset the iPhone. Now, how to prevent thief from doing this? Again, Go to settings, face ID and passcode, scroll down, see accessories, uncheck these accessories. If the thief tries to plug in the cable and tries to connect with the laptop to the iTunes, the phone will be undetectable. So he cannot do this. Here's a small catch. If the thief cannot put your phone in the airplane mode, he might try to take out the SIM card. So once the SIM card is out, your phone will not have any signal and it cannot be located using the Find My. The best way is to use an eSIM rather than a physical SIM. In this scenario, someone has an unauthorized access to your lock screen passcode. Now this is a security loophole in Apple devices which I explained earlier in my video. The loophole is, once someone has access to your passcode, he can actually go inside your phone and literally change everything, including your Apple ID password, your Face ID, and also the passcode itself. So you will be permanently locked out of your device and also your 
Apple ID and iCloud. So this is a very dangerous situation to be in. So there are two things that we want the unauthorized person not to change. One is account or your Apple ID and second thing is your lock screen passcode. Okay, so let's see them one by one. Let's go with your Apple ID first. Okay, so if you go in your settings, here is your Apple ID. You see this Apple ID now is clickable. If you click, you can see all the information including your iCloud and everything. Okay. So the setting that you need to do is, first you need to go into screen time. Okay. If you're using the screen time for the first time, it will ask you to create a password. So this can be a four digit passcode and make sure this one is separate from your lock screen passcode because that one is six digit, this one will be four digit. So it's, it should be a different one. So once you have created your screen time passcode, you go in screen time, go down into content and privacy restrictions, scroll down, click account changes, and select don't allow. So this means that nobody will be allowed to access your Apple ID or change it. Okay, so once it's done, let's check. Now you see your Apple ID is grayed out. It cannot be selected, it cannot be clicked. So this is the security protection for your Apple ID. Now second is your passcode, how to prevent the passcode for, from being changed. Again, we go into screen time, content and privacy restrictions, scroll down, passcode changes, and don't allow. So basically with this setting now, nobody can change your lock screen passcode except you. Why? Because if you see here, here is exactly where your face ID and passcode settings appear normally. But since you did not allow any change, so the setting totally has disappeared. So nobody can access your face ID and passcode settings menu. If you want to reverse the settings, you just go back into screen time, passcode change. Uh, okay, now if you allow back passcode change, you see the face ID and passcode has reappeared. Okay, so this is a very important security feature. If you don't allow, this setting will disappear. So nobody will have access. Nobody can actually find where to change your face ID or passcode. Where is the setting? They, can, they will kind of find. It's, it will be hidden. So this is a very good uh, security feature by Apple. Make sure you guys change these four settings immediately on your iPhones to prevent your data and also your Apple ID. Now moving on to the new security feature which I explained earlier in the video. The Apple is working on and is almost ready for the public but not, not yet released. Now I show you on my phone because I am using developer beta software iOS 17.3 now current iOS is 17.2.1 because I am on a developer beta version so I get to get these features earlier and test and report back to Apple if there are any bugs or uh, any problems with the new features so now to access this new feature We'll go into Face ID and Passcode, scroll down, Stolen Device Protection. Okay, so this is a new security feature, stolen, stolen Device Protection. Now what does this feature do? If you can read here, it says that this adds another layer of security when iPhone is away from familiar locations such as home and work. Okay, so this is another layer of security. Let me show you guys in further detail. You can see there are three main features. Number one is 
Accessing your saved passwords requires Face ID to make sure it's you. Second, changing sensitive settings like your Apple ID password is protected by a security delay. And number three, there's no delay required when iPhone is at familiar locations such as home and work. So this adds another layer of security for your Apple device. My suggestion to you guys will be when you receive the new iOS update 17.3, this feature stolen device protection will automatically be turned on by default. But those two settings, the account and passcode change settings, just keep them to don't allow for total protection of your phone security. I hope you guys got some useful information from this video today. If you like it, kindly subscribe to my channel and do press the bell icon so you will be notified whenever I upload a new video. Also share this video with your friends and family who are using iPhone so they can also secure their handphones. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one.